What is going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel and today I'm doing my NFL playoff bracket so let's hop into it. But let's just hop straight into the bracket and the first matchup we have is between the Houston Texans and the Cleveland Browns, the four seed and the five seed in the AFC. And these two teams just played on Christmas Eve and the Browns got the better of the Texans. The Texans were without quarterback CJ Stroud so he will be back for this game which bodes well in Houston's favor. The Browns, they rested all their starters in Week 18 in their loss against the Bengals, so they should all be well-rested, ready to go for this game. Amari Cooper set a Browns franchise record for receiving yards in the game they played against the Texans, so the Browns played really well. The game was 36-22, to but the Browns were winning like 36-7, to and Houston got a couple garbage time touchdowns, so the Browns really owned them. So this is a rematch. I do expect it to be a lot closer than before, but I still have the Browns winning this game against the Texans. And I won't be doing scores in this video just because it's a whole bracket. And if I pick the wrong team in the first round, I could just get messy for the rest of it. So I'm not going to pick scores. And also, I forgot to mention that the NFL reseeds after the first round. So if you see some of the teams over here move around, it's because the Ravens, they're the one seed. They'll get the worst remaining seed. So as of right now, it's the Browns because they're the only team I picked. But say the Dolphins or the Steelers win, the Ravens would get them over the Browns. So there is a little reseeding in the divisional round. So things could change. In our second AFC matchup, we have the Kansas City Chiefs at the Miami Dolphins. Chiefs won their division. They're the number three seed, the Dolphins. They lost the division to the Buffalo Bills in the last week of the season. So they fell all the way down to the sixth seed. These two teams did play each other earlier in the year, but they did play in Germany where the Chiefs did get the better of the Dolphins. And the Dolphins this year have struggled against teams above 500. They only have one win, and that came against the Dallas Cowboys, but they've lost to the Chiefs. They lost to the Bills twice. So they've just really struggled. But despite the Dolphins not having the best of luck against good teams. The Chiefs really haven't been the greatest this year either compared to years past. They've definitely had wide receiver issues, a ton of drops, and that could really hurt them. The playoffs, it's single elimination, so if the Chiefs stumble, and I think that's going to happen, I think the Dolphins will upset the Chiefs in Arrowhead. I'm pretty sure the weather for this game is supposed to be like super cold, but still I think the Dolphins will go in there and stun the Chiefs and move on. Moving on, we have the Bills Steelers, and the Steelers snuck into the playoffs even though they're 10 and 7, so Every AFC team that made the playoffs was a 10 plus one team. So really competitive this year. But sadly for the Steelers, they'll probably be without TJ Watt, their best player, as he suffered an MCL sprain. And if the Steelers were to win this game, he should be able to come back for the divisional round. But I just don't see the Steelers winning it. So I do have the Bills winning it and playing the Browns in the second round. So then moving over to the NFC wild card round, we have the Buccaneers and the Eagles. And the Buccaneers, they won the NFC South. They're the only NFC South team to make it. The Eagles have struggled. They start out the season 10-1, and one, and they've honestly just been in a free fall. They lost the division to the Cowboys. They still ended up being the number five seed because of their 10-1 and one start. But they've only won one game, and I want to say their previous five or six. So definitely not good for them. And this game, I think it's going to be a lot closer than a lot of people expect. I don't think the Buccaneers will pull off the upset. But I do think it's going to be a really close game. But the Eagles, I think, will just squeak it out in the end. Then we have the number six Los Angeles Rams on the road at the Detroit Lions. So Matthew Stafford leading the Rams in Detroit for a playoff game. I think this atmosphere is going to be electric. But sadly for Detroit fans, I do think Matthew Stafford is going to get the win over the Lions at Ford Field and put an end to what was otherwise a really good season by Detroit. They finally, I think it was the first time they won the NFC North. It wasn't even called that the last time they won the division. So great season for the Lions, but I think they just lose here to the Rams. And then closing out the wild card weekend, we have the number two Dallas Cowboys hosting the number seven Green Bay Packers. And the Cowboys have been a dominant team at home this year. Anybody that's been following football has known that. The Packers have had their ups and downs with Jordan Love. It's really kind of been a roller coaster season for them. So I do think the Cowboys, out of all the games, this might be the easiest game to pick. So let's hop over to the AFC for the divisional round. And we have the Miami Dolphins on the road at the Baltimore Ravens. And these two teams also played each other just a couple of weeks ago. And the Ravens absolutely stomped on the Dolphins. It was like 56 to 17 or something like that. It was absolute blowout. The Dolphins really didn't stand a chance. And while I do think this game will be closer, I do think the Ravens will win once again. So the Ravens punch their ticket after having a first round bye. They punch their ticket to the AFC Conference Championship. Then we have the battle of two Lake Erie teams in the Buffalo Bills and the Cleveland Browns. The Browns will be on the road against Josh Allen and the Bills at Buffalo. And this should be a great game to watch. Two tortured fan bases going at it in the divisional round, competing for a spot in the Conference Championship. And I think the Browns 
are going to pull off an upset. Joe Flacco on the road. And when Joe Flacco went to the Super Bowl with the Ravens, he beat Andrew Luck and the Colts in Indianapolis. He beat Peyton Manning and the Broncos in Denver. And he went on the road to Foxborough and beat Tom Brady. Joe Flacco's been there. He's done that. I think that his experience will help this Browns team. Turnovers could have very well hurt this team. But I think the Browns kind of go on a little miracle run. And they upset the Bills in Buffalo and head to Baltimore for a division rematch, their third meeting of the year. But I'll get back over to this game after I do the NFC divisional round. And we have the San Francisco 49ers hosting the Los Angeles Rams, another division matchup. And the Rams did get the better of the 49ers in week 18, but everybody was resting starters, so it really didn't matter. And the 49ers were able to beat the Rams earlier in the season. And I think with the 49ers rest an extra week to game plan, I don't think they're going to have too much trouble beating the Rams. So I have the 49ers punching their ticket to the conference championship. And then we have yet another divisional matchup. We have the Dallas Cowboys hosting the Philadelphia Eagles. The Eagles have been struggling. The Cowboys, they've been known to choke in the playoffs, much like the Toronto Maple Leafs. So this game is really a toss-up. But I think the Cowboys will get the better of the Eagles. They've been playing better as of late. And I think that just translates better into the playoffs as the Eagles just stumbled in. So they'll play the 49ers in what is another rematch. But back over to the AFC, the conference championship, we have the Ravens hosting the Browns, an AFC North division showdown. We have Joe Flacco's revenge game. He's back in Baltimore. And the Browns' fairy tale season sadly comes to an end. And as much as it pains me to do this, I can't just be biased all the way and have my team go all the way to the Super Bowl. So I think the Browns' season comes to an end in Baltimore. And while devastating, you know, the entire city of Cleveland and the entire state of Ohio the Browns definitely have so much to look forward to next year, but the Ravens punch their ticket to the Super Bowl. Then over here, we have the 49ers and the Cowboys, and Cowboys in typical Dallas fashion find a way to choke, and the 49ers just blow them out in the conference championship, setting up a Ravens versus Niners Super Bowl 58, in where the 49ers get the better of Lamar Jackson in the Ravens and win the Super Bowl. So yeah, that is my NFL 2024 playoff bracket. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Who do you think is going to win the Super Bowl? What matchups would you like to see? But anyway, please like the video, subscribe to the channel. I will catch you with another video. God bless.